Oh, Wren, Wren, Wren. Dear, innocent, sweet, childlike Wren. You know, it is one thing for you to have that one time false reported common sense guy. But now, ever since then, you have false reported multiple other people as well. Not only that, on top of that, you also have lied about the people who would dare call you out for your own failings in that area. And you know, for a while now, I was almost tempted to maybe even drop this subject. I was kind of debating to myself whether I should continue on it or not. But seeing as though now, seeing that you have reported multiple other people also lied about me and my friends and compatriots as well, you are going to wish that you had never, ever promoted my channel, because seriously... You done seriously fucked up, Lynch Mikhailis. What's up everybody, it's DC. Not that DC, but DC as in Darkcon. And I'm here to talk about something that little less than a year ago, I and a lot of people never would have seen coming. I feel bad for ever shipping Darkcon with that bitch, cause... Oh, oh you did that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said that, you said, you said you would ship, oh god. That was before I knew Rin was a scheming whore. This is a review of a former friend and YouTube partner. HOLD IT! I'm not playing that music again, I'm getting flashbacks to 2018. We need something fresh and epic. So anyway, this is a review of a former free speech warrior, YouTube partner, and friend who somehow turned to be a big time gossip, liar, and free speech hypocrite. Actually no, scratch that. I'm not gonna refer to her as a hypocrite. She's just outright not pro-free speech as she once was against flagrantly false reporting people on Twitter. No problem, it's kind of like, be careful, Sargon, you're starting a flagging war, because you're, you know, you're making an excuse to just go around flagging contents from political enemies. You're kind of going, you know, like you're a feminist, I don't like you, so I'm gonna flag you down. And, you know, I just think that the flagging war should stop, I think the report scene war should stop, and people should just calm down. But now she has backtracked on that stance, thinking that it's okay. I would like to apologize to Sargon of Akkad, me, and the Charming Man. I was wrong. This recent incident has got me to change my views on flagging for sure. Well, congrats, you fucking lations, Ren. You've convinced me that you're not a pro free speech hypocrite, but that you're just not really pro free speech at all. So, what is this skinny, bald headed, razor fist ripoff looking guy talking about? Ren Mikhailis, or as I like to nickname her from now on, Wench Mikhailis has been going through what I'd call a downfall, as originally she was one of the most consistent free speech warriors that you'd ever come across, and now she has been confirmed to have falsely reported common sense guy, sophane, and cultural boomerist, aka gulag enthusiast at the time, and possibly false reported myself and liberal sanity project as well. Now I don't know for certain on either myself or LSP, because I haven't seen any admission from her of doing it, but seeing as though she so willfully admitted to reporting the other three I mentioned, and if she did in fact report me and LSP, then I think she'll possibly come clean about it. Plus, considering the fact that these tweets were all in response to Rin. It's kind of like mundane Matt. People did not know for certain, but all the videos that were flagged and taken down possibly by him were videos criticizing him, so it was just a matter of connecting the dots. People had nothing but a strong suspicion that it was him until during the one kill stream where he did basically admit that it was him after all. Same with me and LSP, nothing but suspicions and connecting the dots. Now we just need an admission. Well, Rin, did you report me and LSP on Twitter? Now, I know that a lot of people have problems with LSP, but as far as I know, I haven't seen anything from him that warrants that he should get kicked off of his platforms, much less anything reportable from him in these tweets, morally speaking anyways. Not according to Twitter's term of services, because they consider saying, learn to code 
harassment, but only according to morals. But of course, that's only the short explanation of things, so by now, you're probably already convinced that she's pretty much the mundane met of Twitter that everybody is pretty much dubbing her as now, but there's a whole lot more to this if anyone is interested, like the lies she tells about some of us and crackpot justifications for why she did all of this. So let's start from the beginning. Past History I met Rin back in, I think it was February of 2018. Before that, I occasionally ran across her Twitter and YouTube channel, but was never all that much intrigued about her content, because on the surface, it seemed like some pretty boring shit. Even back when I first met her, I've always thought she had a very boring, monotone, and uncharismatic presentation and way of editing her videos. Thus why that after she tweeted to me and Aspie that she needed some people to fill in her place while she was on essentially a bit of a hiatus, that she would continuously ask me to help edit her projects on occasion. Over the course between February and November, I've done two guest videos for her and at least two collab projects and have been on streams together plenty of times. We've been on friendly terms throughout most of 2018. Then one time, while I was on my family vacation to San Antonio, Texas, she tags me in a Twitter scuffle she was having with Tizzy saying that she liked to have a debate with him and have me as the moderator. So I took up on the opportunity and moderated where the hot takes were abound. You're inconsistent because you're saying the company is deciding on their own, but earlier you were saying that it's okay for people to tell a company to get rid of you, sir. Yeah, no, that I, it's both, and both are okay. <laughs> You are contradicting yourself because then it's not the company's decision. It is other people trying to uh, get the company to remove a specific user. No, 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 no. That is a company deciding to get rid of the user, even if they listen to other people. That doesn't make any sense. It's not strictly the company's decision because they didn't think of it all on their own. So? I just believe that the company should do whatever it wants. So, yes! <laughs> okay, wait a minute. So, um, another thing that is against the Constitution is slavery. So, could a company own slaves? Um, Ren, is there anything that you have to say regarding Ralph doxing people? I haven't seen any of that. You know, nobody has really provided any evidence of it. And also, I'd like to add another thing, and that is screenshots can be doctored. Yeah, I took these. So unless you're accusing me personally of making shit up, then we have nowhere to go. So you can either take what I have on good faith, because that's a, that's a shit argument. Then any evidence I give you can be doctored. This would be the last time that me and her would be friends with one another, as soon afterwards, she uploads her video explaining why she defended Ethan Ralph, where she essentially implied that screenshots can't be taken as evidence. Basically, listen and believe, or you want me to take the, you want me to look at screenshots that could be doctored, and just go like, believe the screenshots that could be doctored. Which if that's really the case, then all the screenshot evidence of AI used doxes and no bullshits lies should all just be outright dismissed. And for all you scumbags who claim it's just names, well here, AIU docks where Uzulu fucking lived. And here he docks where another friend of mine lived. There's a <laughs> screenshot of you saying that doxing makes, isn't that bad, that it's like a parking ticket compared to murder. Can you give uh, context? It sounds like it's fake. Made like a lot of Batman's video. Yes, screenshots can be faked, but ultimately not all of them are. And until a person can provide proof that a given screenshot has been faked, I and many other people are going to take it at face value. When it comes to whether some piece of evidence has been forged or not, innocent until proven guilty, not guilty until proven innocent. But that wasn't the thing that really broke our friendship. But instead, when we gone talking in one-on-one -on -one DMs, when I gone to her to ask her for clarification on if that was actually her position. And after some evasiveness and condescension on her part and irritability on mine, she eventually did admit to believing that yes, all screen caps should be just outright dismissed and we ended off going our separate ways and no longer being friends. By her own words, by the way. And if she wants to call me a liar about all this, I am not going to show the screen caps of the DM conversation between me and her just yet because I believe in privacy in that area, unless people start saying 
that people are lying or people are suspecting other people of lying. So if she wants to accuse me of lying in this circumstance, well then that's when that I'll show the DM conversation. But for right now, no. I really was not wanting to incite any drama over this specific issue, and so me and Rin decided to keep this under wraps and not make a big tizzy over this. No pun intended, good sir. I still kind of wanted to get this issue off of my chest though, and so I decided to talk about this only with my closest internet friend, S-Man Speaks. This issue wouldn't come up again until the real shit would come up on December 27th, 2018. Common sense guy and lies. I don't want to talk to me anymore. Oh, fuck! Look! Look at this! One second. Okay. So, was the reason why you reported him really because you just wanted to troll him? Yep, we trolls got to be cr very creative these days. That's the one thing that trolls have that others don't. Creativity. Fuck you, Rin! You fucking bitch! You're not consistent with your free speech principles. Holy fuck! This is on a whole nother level. There's your evidence right there, Conundrum. She admitted it herself. That the one of the reasons as to why she wanted to do it, that the main reason why she wanted to do it was just to troll him. So she is attacking his free speech by reporting him to damage his positioning on Twitter just for what? For the sake of trolling? Uh, it's the same with DSP when he got his streams taken down. He got Does that make it right though? For what? I mean, I, I don't give a I don't give a fuck about DSP gaming or what the story is about there. I I don't give a fuck about him or who might have reported him or who he might have reported or whatever else. This is not right, right here, conundrum, and this is just inconsistent on a uh, freaking Rin's part. Dude, dude, you're trying to. I, I see what she's doing, Zach. You're trying to make me turn on her. No, nobody's trying to make you turn on anybody, my friend. Nobody's trying to make you turn. You, you said, right, that the only person you would take as word, as there's no evidence, because unfortunately, due to the reporting uh, okay. of myself, that there's no evidence for it. Yeah. So Darkon let me ask has you. provided you. Darkon has provided you with evidence of her herself saying that the reason why she did this solely was to troll me. And you, so, you, said, you yourself said that the only evidence you would take was Rin's own admission. You have an admission, and now you're trying to say that Darkon is trying to turn you against Rin. He's only providing you evidence that you asked for. Okay, and so with that in mind, let me ask you this conundrum. Is reporting somebody on a platform a legitimate way of trolling, especially for somebody who claims to be pro-free speech? Or who defends uh, habitually free speech is reporting them. <laughs> I'm going to bring an example. I gave free speech. I got my uh, channel strike. There's your answer. What? How is that an answer? Okay. Hey, yeah, yes or no? Yes or no? Is trolling a legitimate way, or uh, excuse me? Is reporting a legitimate way of trolling, especially for somebody who habitually defends freedom of speech? Now, that question is kind of a gray area. Uh, yes or no, dude, please tell me. Mm, I'm going to say this. I'm not sure I, I plead the fifth on this. Can, can I ask you well, a question? Okay, can, sleep can, on can it. Can I ask a, a quick question? Think about it for a bit, then. Yeah, I need to. I need to think about that one. Sure. I'm not gonna go over the nitty gritty details of Ren Flag and Common Sense Guy, as I have already made a full 17 minute video over that. Watch that to know the details of it all. Oh wait, I'm sorry. I meant you reporting Common Sense Guy, Ren. I'm sorry that you gotta be so pedantic. CS Guy and S Man also made their own videos talking about the main event before I had uploaded my own. All I will say is that she reported him for asking if she's retarded and for the sake of trolling him. 
which is retarded in of itself because if you were really pro free speech yourself you would actually grow some skin and not attack another person's rights and abilities because of insults and if you were a half decent person you also wouldn't do such acts for your own selfish pleasures before I actually uploaded my video, Conundrum asked me to join him for an off-air hangout call with Ren to maybe resolve the bulk majority of the drama so that maybe there would be no need for me to upload my expose on Ren. It gone as well as I had hoped and as you see. Yeah, but Amaya says he, she slipped up. Are we gonna nail her to the fucking cross over Well, she needs to admit her fault, dude. This, this, is, this is what Common Sense Guy was trying to do. Was what? saying, well then you're a hypocrite, you're inconsistent with your principles, but she doesn't want to admit it. She wants to just double down and double down on it, and now she's taking like a rather mocking approach to it, to when I asked her, so was the reason why you uh, reported him really because you just wanted to troll him? And she says, yep, we trolls gotta be very creative these days. That's the one thing that trolls have that others don't. Is this troll 50 years old or 70? My god. Did she admit her fault? Well, Gabe the Fat Samurai, or Gabe the Fat Snowflake as I like to call him, for getting so ass hurt over me liking a joke that was at his and Ren's expense and other unrelated things, alleges that she did. This is a message for Ren Michaelis. You made a mistake, you did something wrong. You owned up to the mistake. You said that you were wrong for doing it. No, you should not have flagged anyone. But what really undermines Gabe's own words is the fact that soon after my video, she makes a video that was supposedly intended for destroying lies. Fasten your seatbelts, boys and girls, because what started off as a simple incident cascaded into lies, betrayal, backstabbing, and Operation Smear Win Mikhailis. That ironically became a video full of a bunch of lies itself about screen caps of a fucking DM conversation that our group had that got leaked to her. Which is quite ironic because I thought screenshots could be doctored, Rin. Basically, listen and believe, or you want me to take the, you want me to look at screenshots that could be doctored, and just go like, believe the screenshots that could be doctored. Why are you making a video about a conversation that could well be faked, huh? I guess her screenshots could be doctored rule goes out the window when she's so desperate to make a video about something, right? But I do admit that all the dialogue in the screenshots is legitimate, trust me. I know because I was part of the conversation. Back with Gabe's claim though, there's also the fact that she retracts a past position of hers on false reporting people in the clip I played earlier. I was wrong. This recent incident has got me to change my views on flagging for sure. I and everyone else would have been full well willing to just let this go from here. In fact, half of us who were in the conversation dropped it like it's hot, but the reason the other half of us continued on the attack against Rin in this particular stream was because of the blatant lies and straw men she vomited about us. If you want to see our full response to her piece of shit video, then watch the first two hours of this stream. First. At which, I mean, these guys, they actually called me a neo-Nazi. I shit you not. I'm gonna put up my own screen caps of the entire conversation with half of the names blocked out on the screen, cause a lot of the people involved in this conversation want to remain anonymous. As y'all can see that at not any point did any of us call her a neo-Nazi. Oh, but you imply that she's alt-right, Darkon! For one, I am so far convinced that there's a nuanced difference between an alt-righter and a neo-Nazi. The leftist protesters, no, I'm not a neo-Nazi. You like black people? Well, why do you, yeah, why sure. do you so many neo-Nazis love you if you're not a neo-Nazi? Neo-Nazis don't love me, they kind of hate me, actually. The difference is very small, perhaps, but I still give the benefit of the doubt that they are different. But I can understand the confusion that somebody might mistaken that I was implying her to be alright, so that's my fault and I apologize for my clumsy wording, but that was not my implication at all. The reason that I said it's ironic that she calls herself anti-salt right, quote unquote, is because of her passionately defending Ethan Ralph's free speech, whom we thought to be alt-right at the time, and her viciously attacking CS Guy's free speech, someone who is not alt-right. Just because you are not for a certain people's beliefs doesn't mean that you are outright against those people. Like, I'm not an ANCAP, for example, but I don't consider myself anti-ANCAP. 
but you're gonna seriously tell me that somebody who reports a non-alt writer for asking if she's retarded and for the sake of trolling but then defends an alt writer who allows or even encourages doxing and other shitty tactics to happen on his own accounts and has a history of throwing his own insults for that matter at others is anti-alt right? That was the message I was trying to give off at the time. If she was for and protecting free speech absolutism, meaning anything goes, then it'd be more understanding in my eyes. But as she so repeatedly said, she's not for free speech absolutism. So it just seems like she's biased as she's favoring some people over others, as Ryan Howe articulates this as well. If she was trying to advocate for free speech, she would get it. But now I seriously think she has a bias favoring him over others. Over others? Like who? Like common sense guys, so fane and cultural boomerist, you dolt. Now I know that likely quite a few of you are writing your hate comments at me down below for saying that Ralph is alt-right, but I was only calling him alt-right to make a point. In all reality, I fully do acknowledge that he's not alt-right. By the way, I keep sorry, we're not, we're not even all right, which is, I mean, we have all right people on this show sometimes, but that's the hilarious part. Ethan Ralph is its alt-right. Alt-right people just appear on the kill stream sometimes. And that's a mistake originally on my and my compatriots part. In fact, what he said was, you are right. Um, Ethan Ralph is not alt-right. We were wrong about that. In extension, she says that it's because of guilt by association that we mistook Ralph to be alt-right. By your line of logic, Sergeant of a Cod, Ron McMillennial, and Sticks Hexenhammer would all be alt rights because all of them either had alt rights people on their shows or went on alt rights programs. When no, that wasn't the case at all. It's because we originally thought his beliefs aligned with the alt right. No, 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 we're talking about Ralph. Uh, oh. yeah, Ralph being called alt right. You like. Wasn't, I he, asked, what, is wasn't, Ralph... he, believing, wasn't he believing in, in, in something like the alt Like, didn't his views align with the alt right? That was my reasoning off of me. To make sure. Okay, Ralph, okay. Richard so you admitted you admitted it yourself that the reason why you thought he was alt right because you thought his beliefs were aligning with the alt right. But the yeah. straw man that Ren is putting up here is that she thought your reasoning was because Ralph associates with alt writers, thus he's alt right. No, um, no, Ren's just a lying guy. Regardless if he is or is not alt-right, though, he's still a right-wing partisan hack and Rin is still favoring him and his freedom of speech over other people's. That, among other bits of dishonesty, was what we were responding to in that stream. But that was the big thing we were debunking. And the next day, in one of my Twitter group chats I had added her in and didn't bother removing her from, while me, CS Guy, and S-Man were having a big argument with her over this, I tried explaining that to her. But her retarded ass the very next day decided to make another video spreading lies and gossip about us, including the lie of, They didn't debunk any of my points. Or at least, they didn't bring any points. We belong in a private Switzer group together. I mean, it's kind of weird that they could not tell me the point. Like, it's weird. Like, you spent five hours, quote, unquote, debunking me. But it's kind of like I'm giving you the opportunity to tell me your side of the story. Okay, what did you debunk? Tell me, like, what did you debunk? And the only thing they could do is insult me. Like, they couldn't debunk anything. This video is even worse than the last one. From the smallest things, like of her constantly repeating herself seemingly a dozen times on each of her points, quote unquote, to the biggest things, like saying this. They're doing things that seem really, really out there. Like, I really wouldn't be surprised if they kill somebody someday to tell the truth. I, I do believe that they're the type of person that would kill somebody. That is some grade A granny gossip knitting club bullshit. Yeah, because us looking to destroy your lies equivalates to there being a possibility that we committed murder. Fuck you, wench. Where do I even start with all the lies and bullshit on this one? I guess I'll start here. Now, if she's trying to advocate for free speech, I would get it, even though, like, I don't know, half of my content is, like, me defending free speech and, like, none of the theirs. <laughs> like, for real. Like, I, mean, I have so much content. Like, I don't know, half of my content is dedicated to free speech and none of the theirs. Like, they don't really have any content dedicated to free speech. Let's see. There's me talking about the Tommy Robinson situation, Baring's channel removal, and EU copyright law. Here's Jason's content, and here's S-Man's content about free speech. 
Also, all of our videos talking about the original false reporting drama in December, which is a free speech issue, like it or not, Ren, even if this might inadvertently be also kind of drama related too. Yeah, totally have not any free speech content. I was in a private phone call with one of them. The guy told me that, like, you know, his friend getting a 12-hour ban is worse than the agreement to criticize migration speech. So if people are going to go to jail, you know, for criticizing immigration. Me fighting a guy for 12 hours on Twitter is more important than people going to jail for criticizing migration. No one fucking said that, you fucking cow. Jesus Christ, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> you're just okay, gonna repeat so same stupid bullshit over and over and over. You have no idea just how disgusting that is. That that is your free speech issue. That's what our opinion. But you don't give a flying fuck that a person that people go to jail for criticizing migration. Ren is referring to the off-air call I mentioned earlier that Conundrum insisted I come on to talk with her. I now wish that we had recorded that call just so that we can fact check each other with actual recorded footage of it instead of just going off of a bunch of he said, she said. But here we are. I don't recall ever saying that I literally don't care if people in Europe get arrested for XYZ speech. If I did say something along the lines of I don't care, I wasn't saying I literally don't care. I was saying that that was not important at the moment for the conversation we were on. I was only making the point that you were deflecting from the subject, from your own failings, Rin. Much less did I ever say that a person getting a 12-hour suspension is more important than people getting arrested for speech. It's kind of the same thing as in this clip where I said that I don't give a fuck about the DSP gaming flagging brought up by Conundrum. It's the same with DSP when he got his streams taken down. I don't give a fuck about DSP gaming or what the story is about there. I don't give a fuck about him or who might have reported him or who he might have reported or whatever else. This is not right, right here, Conundrum. And this is just inconsistent on uh, freaking Rin's part. I wasn't saying at all that I literally don't care for what happens to DSP Gaming and associated parties. I was trying to get the conversation back on track because that was not related. Maybe I should come up with a different selection of words next time. Even if you are going to blame me for something, don't blame all of us just for one person's words or actions. Don't get a collectivist mindset about blaming people, damn it. Which, speaking of which... They are like bragging about like getting somebody permanently suspended from Switzer. And they got my account locked, so they are hypocrites, calling me a hypocrite. I really wish that this didn't get brought back up again, as this was a sour chapter of the poor bastards where we were in passionate disagreement with each other on. You hear me, Ren? Not all of us agreed with Brandon's exact actions around the time of him reporting the literal whore. Or is that something too complex to get through your thick skull? Again, assigning blame of who failed on what to other people not involved. But even putting that aside, this is not equivalent to what you just did, Ren. As B explains in his testimony of what happened, it was a retaliatory report that he did. And she was saying something, she said, uh... I want man, uh, male genocide, and with like no context, the first one had no context that it was a joke <laughs> whatsoever, so. And as I said, I see this shit a lot, I see these uh, fucking far leftists be like, oh yeah, we need to kill the whites, oh, you know, this and that, you know, or fuck, you know, all that. So I thought she was serious, I gave her a piece of my mind, she didn't like that, and she reported me. So what I did... I reported her back in retaliation, but here's the thing, she broke terms of service as well. Not that I am necessarily approving of retaliatory reporting, but on top of that, he pretty much regrets what he'd done. Like, they are like bragging about like getting somebody permanently suspended from Switzer. And okay, that was me. I got my revenge on that one bitch, as I said. I disagree with it now. But, as I said, she did send her fans after me, and as well, she did break terms of service on Twitter. I said I disagree with it now, and everyone else does as well. And plus, you posted that fucking screenshot not knowing the whole fucking story. If what you did to CS Guy was report him in retaliation to him false reporting you first, then I would understand more why you reported him. But that's not the case, now is it? You need to get yourself at least somewhat educated about the 
facts of what happened with certain events if you are gonna seriously comment on said events. But no, you're just wanting to thrive in your own willful ignorance by not watching any little bit of our videos and streams so that you actually know what we say. Why? Here's why. Another reason why I am not watching their live stream is because, um, well, I, I presume that it just wants watch time for me. In case you were wondering why I have all their names crossed out, it's because these guys are thirsty for attention. And I am not going to give an attention seeking for all the attention that they desperately want. <laughs> the irony. So freaking shallow and petty. Which, speaking of pettiness... Or here's another thing wrong with them. They want to act like they're so suddenly so in favor of free speech while not following any um, free speech organization groups on Twitter. Not an argument. It's not an argument. It's not an argument. The other reason why I didn't watch their five hour long live stream is because these guys are flat sounds creepy. I feel like one of these guys, the host of the 5 hour live stream, like the guy who made the 5 hour live stream, he was talking, I hear heard that he was talking about my boobs. Boobs. For like 15 minutes straight. It was just 15 minutes of him talking about my boobs. Boobs. The funny thing about him talking about my boobs for 15 minutes straight. <laughs> boobs. When they're talking about my boobs for 15 minutes straight. Hmm, let's time that, shall we? And uh, to answer Red's question, when you see when you see the shit eating grin off the the, the, the woman with the with the with the uh, big phony tits and the glasses and she's like, yeah, that that's Rin. You know, I wonder. I'm like, glad I'm not the only one who was who was uh, saying her tits. I wasn't you know, I wasn't the only one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> at the same time, I'm also questioning is that a push up bra? <laughs> but any, anyway, um, <laughs> you're not wrong. If you're not wrong, it's, 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 it's just 15 minutes of him talking about my boobs. Yeah, 15 minutes totally. Like, you really wish we were talking about your tits for that long? Don't flatter yourself that much, wench. Not that I'm complaining. Boobs. Since she says she didn't watch my stream, I'm gonna give the benefit of the doubt that maybe she's not lying, but you really need to check your sources, Rin, because whoever told you that it was 15 minutes was lying. Was it Gabe? I don't know. When Sargon got banned from Patreon? These guys didn't care at all. For one, there were some of us who did comment on the Patreon situation when we were still on good terms with Humane Mind. And secondly, I can't speak for everyone, but the reason why I didn't care enough to speak out for Sargon and his Patreon getting taken down is because there were already people commentating on it for one, and two, I don't care much for Sargon be anymore because he slandered Mr. Medicare, your senpai, Rin, which makes me wonder why the fuck you care so much about Sargon to think that we should have said something about his Patreon if we were truly pro-free speech or something. And third, Thirdly, not everyone can commentate on everything, Ren. People only have so much time they can talk about big issues, but if us not commentating on certain stuff is really that much of a big issue, then where's your content on Tommy Robinson or the EU copyright laws? Hmm? I could likely go on forever about this video, but if you want to see a full response video to her shit, then watch Brandon's response stream. Which honestly could have been a bit better, no offense Brandon, but still was decent. I will, however, address the part where she alludes to Tizzy. They say that so-and-so trumps me, but this is where it gets weird. The person that trumps me was a person arguing that, you know, flagging people down is a form of protest. That person was pro-flagging. If you believe that flagging somebody down is a form of protest, wouldn't that mean that you are in favor of flagging? So it's just like hypocritical that you're making a five-hour video, which I didn't even bother watching, complaining that, um, complaining that I am a hypocrite because I got high and gave a person a 12 hour plan. However, a person arguing that, you know, um, flagging is a form of protesting totally trumps me. They were right about, you know, everything. So these people are pro-flagging, but anti-flagging when it's me. So it's very weird and odd and very inconsistent. Firstly, Tizzy denies ever advocating anything like that. Secondly, none of us agree with him 100% like you say we did. However, a person arguing that, you know, um, flagging is a form of protesting totally trumps me. They were right about, you know, everything. So that's a straw man. And third, I don't know what argument of his you could possibly be twisting into your own favor to say that he thinks that flagging is a legitimate form of protesting. So perhaps next time you should actually play the clip of the argument that you're referring to so you don't confuse the ever-living shit out of people and maybe even possibly give yourself some weight in your arguments. 
Oh, but wait, I forgot. I you don't want to, to give, give us any attention. Yeah, 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 we get it. So Fane and Downward. I originally wasn't planning on going back to the subject of Ren and her bullcrap after Dark Cancer number 22. The only reason why I'm creating any further content centered around all this controversy right now is because of when I got informed by Common Sense Guy that she got so faint timed out and hearing about her getting Taylor's Twitter eliminated was the final kicker. But before she reported Taylor and possibly LSP, she of course got so faint put in timeout. All because of what? Because he called her a fraud. Well guess what, Rin? I'll call you a fraud right here and right now myself. What? You gonna flag my YouTube channel? Do it! I dare you! Then you are gonna be even more of the equivalent to Mundane Mad. In the wake of this chapter of the drama around Rin, she makes another vague video about drama surrounding herself. This video was filled with nothing but pseudo-intellectualities, deflections, and crackpot excuses for her own reporting. Because if nuance is a thing, then I didn't actually say or do anything hypocritical, because I don't feel like a hypocrite. <laughs> Saying essentially that accusations of hypocrisy are pointless? I don't think it's a good idea to take all of these cries of hypocrisy too seriously. Maybe there's a slight grain of truth to that, but overall, no, it's not pointless. Or here's like another example that I made of like a thin person saying you shouldn't eat too much in a fat person goes, you're hypocrites. You say I shouldn't eat too much, but you also eat too much. And the thin person is like, what the fuck? I just thought you're eating too many hamburgers and pizza, and the fantastic person says, Oh yeah, well I think you're eating too many fruits and veggies. Fuck you, you're a hypocrite. You're trying to shame me for eating too much, but you do it too, so fuck you. The clear difference there is that when they continue to be fat with no real effort of changing, they aren't affecting anyone else's rights or abilities. So even though it would serve best to point out the hypocrisy, in the grand scheme of things, it isn't doing hardly any harm. But say, for example, two people are in a relationship and the dude tells her girlfriend not to drink any alcohol whilst he goes ahead and drinks alcohol himself. Unless there are some major health factors in this situation, the guy's hypocrisy is pretty shitty. But all this is just personal situations and can only really be judged on a subjective case-by-case -case basis. But this is political hypocrisy. And if really thinking that somebody having a rules for thee but not for me type of attitude is not a big deal, then I really can't help you there. But I guess that's besides the point anyways, considering the fact that I concluded that you're not so much a hypocrite, but really just a fraud. I flagged down Simon G and Mr. Cool, the baby dance, and the reason I flagged it down was because of child abuse. I have also flagged down on Twitter animal abuse. Wow, that must mean I am pro-censorship. I have actually flagged things down. Except for in this case, you were not reporting crimes. You were not reporting things of where people were being actively hurt upon, Ren. You were reporting somebody calling you a fraud. And you know what? Sophane is right. You are a fraud. And the fact that you didn't have the skin to toughen up and instead report him for calling you such just proves you to be a fraud. And as far as you weeks later report cultural boomers for posting a gif of Stalin's head pasted over the Terminator firing his minigun is more evidence of the complete thin-skinned fraud you are. You considered that a goofy-ass gif to be a death threat? Well, I guess that means every capitalist who posts a Pinochet or helicopter meme at a socialist should get reported for such because that means that they are seriously throwing a death threat at said commie. Cry me a fucking river. If you seriously can't buck up at this shit, then you could at least take your own advice that you gave back during the tizzy debate. Yeah, but I mean, freedom of speech includes freedom to listen. If people are paying Ralph for his content, then they want to evidently hear what he has to say. People should be able to hear what they want to hear. And if you don't like it, use the block button. Take your own advice. Biatch. Although that's not to say she hasn't used it on some people, like me and S-Man for example. And because of that, I like to thank Jason for giving me the screenshots of Ren arguing with people about reporting so fame. 
On that subject now, I have a stinking suspicion that why she's blocked some of us and has not mentioned any names in all three of her videos is not only cause she's a fucking coward and doesn't want to give us any attention, but is also cause she wants to try to be as vague and ambiguous as possible to try and control the narrative of this drama to make herself look as good as possible. Also, I don't know where you're from, but Rand was super vague, so as soon as give you guys game on her platform. Nice jobs on yourself, you are giving her more subs. Why am I going on about this subject and exposing her lies then if she's trying to not reveal our names? It's for the same reason that she doesn't reveal any of our names. There's a lot of overlap in our subscriber bases. If she revealed our names, she might have ended up tipping off our shared subscribers and former subscribers to start asking of what the truth really is. But also, despite her not revealing our names, it's because of our subscribers being shared between our channels why they'd probably do the simplest of connecting the dots and easily find out that it was us that she was talking about all along, and thus believing in the lie that myself, S-Men, and others were calling her a neo-Nazi, among other lies. And that's pretty much it, folks. There is, of course, so many other smaller details to all of this drama that I could cover, but I could not just be fucked to go over all the pathetic pettiness and pedantry and just overall crackpot logic of Ren. Every single piece of it. Like, there's just so much to it that it isn't even worth bothering. But now, since you have watched this video, I hope all of you watching now see Rin for the rather pathetic, petty, pedantic, deflecting, hypocritical, lying fraud that she is. And you know, this could have been just resolved back in December if you had just admitted that you had done goofed with the original reporting of Common Sense Guy. But no, you just had to continue on with the lies about all of us who were deciding to call out, call you out on your failings, which is thus why that we ended up responding to you uh, all this time, is to all the lies and all the other bullshit that you like to spread about us. And you know, I have been called an IBS channel whenever I go talking about this circumstance right here. Well, I guess if somebody wanted to clear up their own name and reputation and wanted to destroy other people's lies about themselves is considered IBS, is considered internet blood sports, well then fine, whatever. I guess I am in part an IBS channel. But I can walk and chew bubblegum at the same time. I can talk about the important subjects as well, like the political news, make response videos on issues of substance to progressive voice, for example, whilst also at the same time be talking about this shit right here, destroying other people's lies that are made against me. And this does not just apply to Ren as well, this involves, this applies to Owen Cunt Donald as well, as I have made a few videos about him as well. But I still continue on with the news streams. There's also a comment I think that Ren had made about how one of us or any of us had told her of what to stick in her vagina or whatever. I'm just going to say that right now, I especially speak for myself, I had never, ever said anything about her nasty ass twat. And I'm pretty sure as far as I know, none of my friends or compatriots have made those comments myself. But I am right now. And Rin, you can just shove a tampon up your twat. Because, speaking of blood sports, this is not blood sports right here. This is not internet blood sports right here. This is, as my friend S-Man Speaks has said, I was going to make a joke about, um, instead of it called, being called blood sports, it's called Rin's time of the month sports. <laughs> <laughs> You misogynistic. Sorry, I can't think of it anymore. No, Darky Khan, Darky Khan, you have to name it that now. <laughs> Is Rin Mikhailis' time of the month sports, for fuck's sake. I am the Dark Conservatarian. Y'all have a good night. Godspeed.